Hi everybody, can you hear me? My name is Pavel Hotak, and I'm going to talk about our activities in supramolecular chemistry. So maybe I should start with reminding you what is supramolecular chemistry. Contrary to common classical chemistry, which is based on covalent bonds, our chemistry is usually using non-covalent interactions to achieve some functions. So we are frequently dealing with such phenomena like molecular recognition, self-assembly, complexation, host gas chemistry, and so on. To efficiently use this kind of weak interactions, you must have well pre-organized compounds, usually possessing some cavities, that are well pre-organized for their functions, usually for catching of something. And among such compounds, you can find family of calixarenes. So calixarenes are macrocyclic compounds that are very easily accessible starting from very simple starting blocks. And they have many charmful properties. Among them, they can complex almost anything. And you can not only choose appropriate size of the cavities, but in some cases, you can also tune 3D shapes of such compounds. So using very simple chemical manipulations, you can prepare any of these four so-called conformers, which are infinitely stable, and you can use them as a starting point, as a molecular scaffolds or building blocks to design something more elaborate. And to give you at least some impression what we do in chemistry, I would like to use a very simple model to show you how important it is to have suitably designed building block. Because if you have enough building blocks, you can construct a lot of very interesting things. And of course, if you have students and co-workers, which are obviously very excited by this kind of chemistry, you can do a lot. So how it works, you can take calixarene and you can very simply append such ester groups and what you have is perfect cavity for catching of cations via uh, electrostatic interactions. And as you can see in this graph, uh, corresponding complexation constants are even higher than those of well-known crown eaters. If you don't care about catching of cations and you prefer catching of anions, you can append functionalities which are responsible for this kind of activity. In these cases, you can see that attachment of urate function enable catching of anions via hydrogen bonding interactions. And even in highly competitive solvents like in the MSO, you can catch anions and especially this kind of receptor, which is in fact chiral, can recognize amino acids in this highly competitive surrounding. One of our topic is recognition and complexation of fullerenes. It's already known from literature that fullerene can interact with planar system of porphyrins. So you can add to calixarene two hands made of porphyrene, and as a result, you have this kind of molecular tweezer, which is able to selectively complex fullerene, not only in solid state, but also in solution. And here is just one example of such, of such experiment. At that time that it was published, we had world record in selectivity towards C70 in the presence of C60. But you can use even cavity itself for catching of fullerene because both systems are perfectly complementary. One is concave, one is convex. 
So here you can see such example X-ray structure of one of our complexes perfectly showing complementarity of both systems. Very recently we found very unprecedented radioselectivity of calixarine derivatization, uh, namely direct mercuration of our basic calixarine enables introduction of something into metaposition and this kind of derivatives are actually very unique because they are inherently chiral. So we can now access inherently chiral derivatives of calyx 4 arene and some other colleagues of calyx 4 arene and we are playing currently with these compounds because they seem to be very promising in the design of novel receptors for let's say stereoselective discrimination and complexation. So all these results are regularly thoroughly discussed during our typical group meetings and in this context, of course, I have to acknowledge people who are engaged in this business. Definitely, I forget at least half of them. So, once again, I would like to thank these people, and maybe I should also thank money provider, at least Gatcher, for some money that is giving to us. And of course, thank you for your very kind attention.